hello everyone welcome to java talent in this today video tutorial actually i'm going to cover only simple thing like uh, for one of the my applications which i have just already recorded uh, for the spring web flux react to crud example so for the same api i am going to demonstrate the swagger example so means how how we can add the swagger of that particular application so there is the one request from the one person so thank you for uh, your input so for that session only i'm just going to record this is a very uh, short session so uh, means how we can add that swagger to our react to application web apps applications only so let me start simply i'm just going to uh, take the same example which i am covered covered uh, into the last video tutorial so if you want that video tutorial you can just go through the right side of the corner you will get the pop-up so uh, from there you can go through that video and then uh, on the on the particular edition of that same uh, same api i am going to add the swagger example so let me go start that application first for you so if you see that this is the example which i have covered in the last session spring boot web flux example i am going to copy and the same thing and i am going to create one more project with that one just by simply renaming it to the swagger so means on the same application so uh, i'm just going to copy the same application and what was the application just let me run it over here so that uh, you have the idea like what it was doing basically so if i can run the same application which i have copied here uh, let me run that and then you will just know that like it was dis it was connecting with the mongodb and then it is fetching the data from the database so simply uh, if i can run this application so you can see so this will be going to hit the database and then it will fetch the records from there and there should be if you go to the controller you can see that there is the multiple endpoint like uh, api employee this is the post endpoint to saving the records this is the getting records and then searching the employee and this is the all record and and this is the id like from the by means uh, if i have to update the record so like this way i can do it okay so uh, the application is already running so if you see the port which it is running is like it is running on the 8081 so let me that put it like api and employee so you can see that this is the two records this is the one of the record which is into the database that's why this record is co coming here so there is the two record if you want i can show through the uh, mongo one but yeah you can just go and grab it means the main purpose of this video is just adding the swagger to that particular api so let me go ahead and do that so <coughs> there is the way like uh, what are the details we have to add additionally to the existing api so there is the way uh, open api specifications that open api i will be going to use so i need to add that repository i mean dependency to that uh, pom.mon file means here and that repository will be like uh, if you can see this is the two dependency what i have to add here i will let you know what it is so first one is like uh, uh, if you see this one is from the spring doc and this is the open api for only the web flux and this is the version which i am using here and this is the swagger details for our swagger details like how we can fetch the swagger information onto our browser so these are the two dependency which we have to add into our pom.xml file so just just save it and just refresh it will uh, it will get your all the all the file so i'm just going to update this project so so that it will update <laughs> um, i think so and the next thing is like uh, means what it is like what is dot spring dot what it is do is you can just google it and see that like if you understand that open api this is the spring boot java library which is the following techniques which is basically spring open api and then a spring boot and then swagger oauth everything so this works by analyzing an application which i have already uh, developed uh, through the spring configurations so class structure means we have to develop one configurations class so that it will take our details so let me go ahead and then add that configuration class as well so i am going to create one package here com.javatalent.config so config package i am going to add here and then i will create one 
configuration class so that class looks like swagger config swagger config class it will be so this is the configurations class so that's why i have to made it as configuration statement annotation sorry so i have to annotate this class as configuration so that it will be our configurations class now i have to create one group open api call so group group open api and there is the one api call means i need to create the uh, bin bin of that particular class so that i will take the help of that particular api so it needs to return the things so what i have going to return is group open api dot builder means i am taking the help of that particular builder to make it group of a string so this is group of a string like what are the group i want to create uh, so i'm just going to give it as web flux api if, if you want uh, multiple apis will be there so you can just uh, do that and paths to exclude or paths to match so basically which path you want to match to uh, make that uh, swagger in informations of that particular uh, so it will be here and this will be build method so what are the matching patterns for my controller so you can see here this is the controller matching request mapping or whatever the all mapping it will be coming here for api so that's what i wanted to be there so let me go here and then i will pass as same like slash api slash double star means it will take all the path which is starting from the api and it will create the bin of that particular class so for this uh, uh, this class i need the bin so i need that annotation as well so yep so my configurations class is ready it is very simple okay and now i have to add that uh, uh, details like what are the url and what are the specific that want i want uh, related to the swagger swagger information or configuration basically so this uh, i need to do here in the properties file which which will be like uh, what are the this details what i want to specify that path for that docs so this is the spring doc that what we are using here so spring dot api dot api hyphen dot dot path so this is the version 3 api that what we are using for the api docs and this is the swagger ui path basically this is the indexing file that what we have to take it okay so now let's do it just close the application because it is already running now run again this applications from the main class or maybe from the directly you can run as uh, server so if you run this application now see uh, earlier if you see that last time uh, it was this one and we don't if if you are able to access that uh, url uh, which is uh, swagger related this one I will let you know that and then uh, it will fetch the informations for that particular uh, URI means documentation we can fetch from the swagger URL so let me run this application once again uh, because okay it is already running fine it is already running if you see that it has been opened the connections for uh, my MongoDB and you can see that what are the MongoDB data metadata I have for my uh, database it has been populating here so i'm not going deep diving into that so if you want to, you can go through my earlier video so next one is like we need to fetch this url for the swagger one so let me go there and what should be it is like looks like a uh, localhost 8081 slash swagger ui see uh, swagger UI, whatever the details we have given the same thing we have to provide here swagger ui uh, web jars swagger dot html if you hit this end point uh, see the logic like it is fetching our all the swagger documentations for our api whatever the information we have given see swagger iphone ui and index dot html swagger iphone ui index dot html so this is the uh, 
details which we have to configure from our properties file and then you can see our all the endpoint it will be covered here into the swagger documentations so whatever the documentations we have given so see uh, our controller class and then you can understand like what are the endpoint so there is one two three four four endpoint we have developed let's see or uh, if it is already coming all now or not or one more delete endpoint is there so uh, all together five endpoint is here okay fine so one is save id fetching the records and then uh, getting all the records fetching put means uh, updating by id and deleting by id so see I, our endpoint is get this one and if you expand it you can see the parameters what the parameters it has it has the id parameters which is a string and uh, uh, because we have not given any descriptions you can just edit it uh, uh, in your way whatever the details you want for that particular swagger information you can do it and this is the response code what we have given media type we have not specified any and this is the example value which we have to uh, made for our call now if you see that this is the put operation put for we have to give it as id which is required field and also the application body which is also required field here if you see that like json specifically we have given to that particular put operation so you can see here application dot json it is taking and the format it is mentioning here i will i will show you one of the example let me show that like uh, for example if i want to just try over here just try it out if you give that id which is there into the database so my id is 101 which is there into the database so let's try uh, execute if you execute it you can very simply see the response this is the responses box and this is the request url which it has been populating from my uh, api call and this is the response body so if you see this is the response body which we have, we got from the our api call this one and if you uh, let me try the second one as well so that you have at least the idea like what it is doing see now it is populating that records and response headers is this one this is the content length <coughs> content type is application iphone json if you want you can just uh, download it so it will download for you that response json file and you can use for example if any application have uh, number of uh, means means big bigger uh, bigger json file which we need for further uh, applications to try it out like means we have to send to the particular consumer who is consuming our api so in that case uh, you can just uh, try it over here and then you can go with that particular things fine yeah so this is the what which uh, i just wanted to cover quickly uh, for that one of the comments that i got yeah please comment out if you have any doubt or any questions which you want or maybe if you want a specific video to be covered into my tutorial so i can i can definitely prepare that yeah but at least give me some time as i see this comment and it is very simple thing so i just cover it out so please yeah <coughs> do ahead and uh, share my channels to everyone who is taking the help yep subscribe my channel and thank you for your time